Hi, I'm Susan Knight. I'm a visual artist. I'm trained as a painter, uh, and I like to combine art with dance, art with science. There's something about um, that confluence of disciplines. Crazy, it's 20 years ago now, but in 2002, uh, there was a show that I wanted to participate in, a show about rivers. It was a memorial show for a friend who had died. And I knew how important the river was to her. And I also knew that I didn't want to paint a river and I didn't want to photograph a river. And so I had just come from the Museum of Art and Design in New York. And there was an amazing show called Architectural Origami. It was installed brilliantly. And then the cuttings, these, these intricate cuttings on just, you know, pieces of regular paper. And after they're done, you, you fold out the paper and all of a sudden you've got the Empire State Building cut in that. Anyway, it was um, an inspiration to me. And I, I knew back to the show that I wanted to participate in, I could cut a map of the river I grew up on in Michigan. And that's exactly what I did. I thought it was a one-time only project. And what it did ultimately is it took over my life. I was cutting with an X-Acto blade. In the middle of this project, I realized that there were a whole bunch of water stories that I wanted to tell. And uh, the map was indeed a, a map, but it was also a narrative about my time on the Great Lakes. And so I continued cutting these pieces of, uh, big pieces of paper. That has taken me places. Um, the narrative uh, just faded away and, and the abstract qualities of, of what water is, what is in the water, what is holding the water, the soil around the water. Um, all of that has become of interest to me. And of course, all of this came up um, and kind of like, you know, banged into climate instability, climate change, call it what you want. But every day I can wake up and, and think about a lot of topics that concern me. And while that concern goes on, a few of those topics will actually, uh, some visual, some notion of how, how I could build this out um, with paper and plastic and mylar and Tyvek. That's what keeps me going. My favorite piece is my next piece, anticipating that next piece. And, and sometimes there'll be dry spells and, and then, um, you know, it'll come to me what, how actually something can, can be drawn out of my head and, and actually become physical. Um, but one of my favorite pieces is, is behind me. Um, it does reference 24 months of, of thermal measuring in Lake Michigan. It is uh, a joy for me to see people experience my installations particularly and, um, and get involved in the installations and to see dancers dance in my installations. That's really a payoff to me.